Good morning, sophomores, and a very happy Mariner Monday to you all. We are entering into the month of May somehow. Not sure how that happened so quickly, but alas, here we are in quarter four, week three, our sixth week of distance learning. I want to spend a couple minutes going over what your week looks like because we are not meeting online today. So I'll start by first sharing how the plan, or at least my plan, has changed because of the new Zoom schedule. So please note that here, you guys are now no longer at new, or 11, you're now at 1245 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So honestly, my recommendation right now would be to pause this video and just go and change the alarms on your phone um, to about five minutes before that so you don't forget to get on online during that time. Um, also, on this slide, um, I updated the fact that the password is house, I updated the times here, and I reminded you of our office hours. I have not changed my office hours plans. I'm still going from three to four every day for you guys. So let's take a look at some survey results from last Friday's um, well, survey. Um, so this shows us how often you guys are checking Aries, and it looks like you guys are mostly between daily and a few times a week. I think my goal for you is to be also daily or a few times a week. So I feel like Aries goal, you guys are meeting quite well. So it seems like you guys are on top of checking your grades. Way to go. Um, in terms of the habit of checking classroom, it also looks like you guys are checking it either hourly, twice a day, or daily. Um, I think it should probably be hourly, to be honest, during the actual school day, and then maybe just daily on the weekends. Um, over here, I need you guys to get that Gmail app. I'm noticing that a lot of you guys do not have that or you are not checking it regularly. So I think that could be a really big game, game changer. And as I'm thinking about ways to help you guys through all this distance learning, I'm thinking that um, this might be one of the major changes that you guys need to make. Because up until this point, you guys have been checking Aries and you have been checking Classroom. But this concept of adulthood and checking your emails for notifications um, it might be kind of new for us. I also need to do my part and I need to teach you guys how to filter your emails so you don't get 10 million emails like you've been getting lately. So that is on my to-do list of things to teach you in the coming weeks. The other survey results that you got or that I got um, was about your time management. And my goal for you to be, my goal for you is in a couple weeks, if we were, or even at the end of the year, if we were to take these same exact survey questions again, I would want you guys all to be at good or higher. And of course, this is a self-rating, but still I want to be able to see that you feel like you have a strong time management plan and look at how many of you guys already do. We just wanna move those of you who think you somewhat have a good time management plan, rarely use that or structure, what's this? We wanna move you up. Same over here. Um, I think hopefully with the assistance of the weekday schedule assignment that I gave you, and you'll be revising that this week with the new Zoom schedule, hopefully there'll be more of you guys in this blue and red section and out of here. So you guys can feel more confident about your schedule and how you're keeping track of your obligations and your responsibilities. And then lastly, over here, you guys are looking like you definitely are understanding. I mean, look at how many of you guys say you're highly efficient in this area. This was the question about your system of keeping track of your assignments. So whatever you're doing, it seems to be working. I would just like to, again, move everyone from here, here, and here into the good or highly efficient. Um, so I'll be thinking about different ways that I can have you guys share out the ways in which you are keeping track of your assignments, especially if you're in the blue and the red zone. So that's the survey results. Um, I'm going to be bringing in some scholarly habits challenges this week. So let's take a look. First and foremost, take a look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We don't have a name. Uh-oh. We don't have a name yet, but we're thinking maybe between Abby or Cora, like for quarantine, or um, Verona, actually, like the city where Romeo and Juliet took place. I know, total, total English teacher move on that part, but isn't she cute? In any case, that was our weekend adventure. I hope your weekends were wonderful too. This is our week ahead of us. Um, you're finishing your chapter seven, eight, and nine assignments, and it's due tomorrow. You're finishing the quotes only for the Lit Tracker, um, and that's due tomorrow. And then I would like you guys to update your weekday schedule by 2 p.m. tomorrow. So please see Classroom for the new resources that I spent time over the weekend creating for you. And please join me at 3.30 on Monday 
Um, here's the code. It's Murray Office Hours. You don't need to sign up. You do not need to sign up for this. I just want you to show up so I can help you change your weekday schedule um, because of the changes that have happened since the Pacifica Zoom schedule has been sent out on Friday. Tuesday and Thursday will still be our Zoom days. That does not change for you, except now, again, like I said, it's at 1245 to 130. So it is five minutes less, um, sometimes 15 minutes less. So we're going to have to be much more efficient. Regarding the Zoom schedule, I need you guys to get there right at the beginning. It's too much for me to have to be able to check what time you came in and didn't. So I'll take attendance at the beginning and I'll take attendance at the end. And if you're not able to make it right at the beginning or you don't stay till the end, then your points will just be deducted. And I think that's more than fair. Um, keep in mind that some days you're just going to be late and some days you're going to have to leave early and it is what it is. But I think it's the fairest thing to do is to deduct your points if you aren't able to stay the whole time. Um, here is the due dates, those three things. Basically, Monday and Tuesday is the same. Monday, you're working on things for things that are due on Tuesday. Wednesday, you're working on now the lit tracker again, but now you're you already have all of your quotes. So now you're gonna be working on your analysis part, your reasoning, your so what. And I also would like you to watch the 10 minute Oprah's interview of Wiesel in Auschwitz. It is moving. Um, and I'm probably gonna put it on Ed Puzzle just to hold everyone accountable. Thursday is a lot more like Wednesday, right? More of the lit tracker, finishing your slides, and then I'm going to add in a scholarly habits challenge to be determined. Friday, your lit tracker is due, and as Mr. Briggs and I have told you, it is summative, so this is going to be worth your effort. Again, like every Friday, a weekly check-in. Even if I don't post that on Classroom because I forget, the link is here. So you guys need to know that that's done every Friday for my class. And then this Friday, we'll be starting our final assignment for night which I am in the process of creating right now, and it's I'm calling it for now the liberation perspective. So I'll be giving you different sources about the liberation to compare to Elie Wiesel's liberation at the end of our memoir, which you guys are studying up here. Um, I'm gonna be mixing in a HBO miniseries with this along with a short story. Um, I think you guys will find it engaging. And that's it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I will see you guys Tuesday at 12.45 in our live session. And until then, roof, roof, from Team Hosepian to you, have a great day.